A lot of smoke coming everywhere. Don't know from where it's coming that much smoke. This is how this problem happens with no reason, no warning at all. No checking your light on, nothing on. It is just a lot of smoke. This was the problem of this truck, as you could see at the beginning. And I want to tell you what was the cause of the problem. In this case, the cause of the problem was faulty injectors. Injectors were overfueling the system, causing a lot of knock. You could hear a lot of knock on the engine because this was having a hard time to consume all the fuel that was getting injected to the combustion chamber. And as a consequence, the engine wasn't working smooth. Since the engine was doing everything possible to compress all the fuel without damaging the engine. The solution, of course, replaced all the six injectors. The problem with this problem is that it doesn't give you any type of warning before the problem happens. So when the injectors go bad like this, they go bad like that. They just go bad. They don't give you a code. They don't give you a warning. They don't give you any type of signal or a, a symptom. Then could tell you that it is time to replace the injectors. So I will just suggest that every time then one injector goes bad, if for any reason one injector goes bad, like for example, misfire on cylinder number two, injector number two not working, injector number two circuit, something happened, better to replace all the six injectors to prevent problems like this, because when this problem happens, it can happen anywhere and it's not going to give you any chance to drive the vehicle further. Because if you keep on driving the vehicle like that, you can have a major issue with the engine and also it's not going to it's not going to give you the power. So overfueling is not going to actually work that well on an engine. And you know destroying the engine will be the most the highest consequence which is possible then it's going to happen. Now um, after you replace the injectors, of course the engine is gonna run fine. But when you do replace the injectors, you start the engine again, there is a lot of fuel all over the place. There is fuel on the EGR cooler, there is fuel on the DPF filters, on the SCR, on the exhaust manifold and the intake manifold everywhere. And the reason why we have a lot of fuel is because the injectors were just throwing fuel like crazy without any measurement. So, when this happens, then the fuel injectors go bad on your engine. After you replace the injectors and you're going to start the engine, will be to disconnect the EGR cooler, disconnect the turbo hose, and um, try to clean the DPF filter. You can still run the engine and you're gonna see a lot of smoke after you start the engine the first time. It's gonna smoke like crazy, but it's not going to happen a lot. It's just going to keep on smoking. You have to leave the engine idling for a while. And after that, the smoke is gonna go away. But if you don't want any smoke, you have to clean all that. Of course, the smoke is not going to give you any type of problem since the problem was the injectors. And definitely there is no uh, other issue than you are going to get. Uh, and as I said before, this issue is not going to give you any type of warning. So I don't know when it's going to happen. In this case, this engine is going to have around like 800,000 miles, but it can happen on less or more mileage. So there is no a specific number that I can give you when it's going to happen, but it's going to happen. And since we have electronic control injectors, there is no way to prevent that. Since the injector is going to be directly to high pressure and it's going to be stopped by electronics. And if the electronic go bad, it's gonna go directly to the combustion chamber having a big issue. Now that the engine is completely repaired, the injectors are completely repaired we have no issues engine is running fine again with no problems but it can happen at any time so uh, if you want to see how to replace injectors if you want to see how to uh, replace injector lines if you want to see many different videos go to my channel you want to full you want to see a full playlist then i have different videos about fuel injection and things like that so that way you can understand different concepts different type of um, labor that you have to do to replace injectors to remove injectors and um, 
it will be easier to understand what I mean to replace injectors, to replace these injectors and everything. So right now this is all I'm going to give you right now uh, and if as I said before, if you have the problem, then you are getting um, high amount of smoke. Engine is not running fine. It's, it's going. It's giving you a loud knocking noise, and I mean, and the smoke doesn't stop at all. It stays getting. It's building up. It's possible that the injectors are bad, or if the engine cranks and doesn't start anymore after the smoke it smokes a lot and then the engine doesn't start or doesn't it just cranks and doesn't start it's mostly fuel injectors are bad so like the video it's very important uh, check the channel for more ch uh, videos about it uh, go to instagram if you want to see me directly uh, ask me anything directly there the description of the video is also there to send support to the channel and thank you for watching